Welcome to Paleo J's Quick Tip of the Day. I got to tell you, I've been having a wild time. Okay, you know about Paleo J's Smoothie Cafe, my other podcast where I have a virtual smoothie cafe. Well, let me tell you this. The virtual cafe is now a real cafe. I have a cafe. It's... It's also where I keep my tractor and I keep a lot of equipment, but it's a real place. I will post pictures. It's a very exciting thing. But for now, let's just concentrate on saving your teeth and keeping you from getting sick. That's right. I have been experimenting with xylitol for a while now, and while this low-calorie sweetener is almost exactly like sugar when substituted for it, the results of it on the body are amazingly different. You've got to get xylitol. For one, sugar is deadly to oral health. Sugar in your mouth is tantamount to oral suicide, since sugar feeds the bad bacteria that causes tooth decay and also results long-term into periodontal disease destroying your gums, which are the literal foundation that secures your teeth. Xylitol actually increases the health of your teeth. It's it's counterintuitive, it's amazing, but it actually works since it fools the bad bacteria into thinking that, hey, here is wonderful sugar, but it's not sugar. Let's eat. But when these bad bacteria consume this xylitol, they then suddenly realize that there is no sustenance here. It's a fake out. And so they starve and die, leaving your oral cavity undamaged. It's almost unbelievable, the subterfuge in the animal kingdom. You know what I mean? On a very basic level. But use it to your advantage. The same thing happens in the nasal cavity, it turns out. I've been experimenting with xylitol, as I said recently, and have bought a product called X. Clear, which is simply saline solution mixed with xylitol. You can make it yourself. Take xylitol and mix it with water. At the first sign of a cold coming on, I've sprayed it into my nostrils and waited. Two times, when I thought a cold was coming on, I used it, and in both situations, that cold was averted. Easy Easy. But yesterday, I had already come down with a cold. You know what it's like. My head was so stuffed up, I could barely speak, and I was miserable. And I was scheduled to sing the next morning in church. I sprayed the xylitol solution into my nostrils for two times and went early to bed. When I awoke the next morning, I was almost normal. I sprayed one more time in my nostrils, took a shower, and then went to church and I sang. I was 100%. Well, we'd have to poll the church members, maybe 98%, maybe far less, but so much better. Church went amazingly that morning. More importantly, I felt so well that I cut down and moved two trees in the afternoon when I got home. I mean, how does that how does that happen when you're that sick? I mean, it's so exciting when you think you are going to be bedridden for days and suddenly you are perfectly all right. And I also know that when you bake anything, xylitol is pretty much 
a one-on-one substitute for sugar. And the price is not that much different as well, as long as you can find it. Online, it's always available, and at a local grocery store, I found it with the organic sugars. It was right next to them, and it was exactly the same price. And if you bake something with xylitol, it's so much better for you. So why wouldn't you? And the results are identical. In Finland, I have read, xylitol is a required candy or gum after meals, quote, to ensure oral health. And so, it seems to be a total non-brainer, right? I mean, why wouldn't you use xylitol? Well, it is as far as it goes, but overall, all sweeteners I would relegate to the sweet by and by overall. Which is a song we ran over at church after the performance. All sweeteners are suspect. They lead us into the rat's nest of sugar, 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 which is our nemesis as humans. Use xylitol as an herb, as a spice. Use it medicinally to treat incipient type 2 diabetes or an addiction to sugar and carbs. Use it to treat your oral cavity to save your teeth and gums and use it in your, in your nose and mouth to ward off colds medicinally. But overall, the bottom line is cut sweeteners and their twins, carbs and breads, to the bone. This alone will stop most health problems in this, our modern era. Eat real foods without grains and sugars, And when you do use sweeteners, use natural ones like local honey and maple syrup. Xylitol is another option. It really is that simple. For health, both local and national, go local and natural. And by we shall meet.